Hey, so last time we looked at the FA screen, if you remember, we, we had the three main um, financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows. Uh, also, there was some segment data we could look at, and then that data could all be drawn back to the original uh, 10K, um, 10 Qs from, from the company. So it was very helpful and uh, a main part of what I would go to in researching uh, a stock like Disney. Um, so today, I want to show you kind of the sell-side analyst reports. So sell-side analysts, uh, these are analysts that work for uh, big banks. They work for Morgan Stanley, uh, JP Morgan, uh, you know, Credit Suisse, all of these banks. They have sell-side analysts, which are, um, the, in theory, they are unbiased analysts that go value the company and give you kind of a, um, a value for the company. So it's always kind of interesting to see what these, these uh, analysts that follow the company every single day have to say about the company. So to go to, go to that screen to see all of the analysts, you do ANR. So you're on the Disney tab, just ANR. Click up there, ANR, enter. And this brings you to um, kind of the uh, the a and r tab which is going to show you all the sell side analysts first we see uh up here on the top left it shows you the percent of, of analysts that say the stock is a buy the percent of analysts that say uh the hold hold the stock and then the, the percent of analysts that say you should sell the stock uh typically it will be about this ratio you will very rarely see a sell um on any of these stocks uh, so keep that in mind. We have one here. I think that's about it. So um, then you can go to each individual person. So Tom Junger looks like he just put out a new one, one seven sets today. Um, he put a price target of one ten. Uh, the price is at ninety nine uh, here today. So it's a little bit above, but that, nothing nothing too exciting. And so he says market perform, which is another way of saying hold. Um, here we can see at the top, you can see again throughout time, so almost every single month for the last two years, two years up here, the percent of people that say buy and the percent of people that say hold. So um, sometimes this one isn't that showing, but uh, you can you can see they've been pretty consistent. I mean, even even lately, I guess there's been less buys, but it's been fairly consistent. Um, but I like to look at each some of these individual um sell side analysts kind of see what, how they've done in the last few years so that far right button did you see the button i pressed the far right button here you can see how they've done uh this is the stock performance and this is where they say the stock should be um i will say most of them look like this most of them will be a little bit above the this is the current price the white line and this is the ratings they've had so they had a buy rating buy rating buy rating all this time, buy ratings, every single time is when they put out a new paper or something. So this guy writes on Disney all the time, as you can see. So keep saying buy, keep saying buy. Now he says hold. Um, and he lowered his price target. So you see the yellow line, he lowered the price target. Uh, still above the current price. He was below the current price for a little bit. Um, but now he's back above. So I don't know what that tells you about this guy. Um, if you knew these people well and knew this guy was a good um, analyst, uh, maybe you take his word for it. I will tell you mostly the 12 month price targets are typically going to be above the price for a number of reasons. Some, some think that uh, to get more business from that bank uh, or the bank wants business from Disney, they want to keep Disney relatively happy. So, you know, they would say the stock's attractive. You know, you need to buy this stock, kind of push this stock out to you. I don't put a whole ton of weight into these. What I like more, uh, what I like more is if we hit menu and you go back on the left, you can see the research that these people have done. So these are people that follow the stock. They're going to give you, at least when you get a news report from the company, it will mostly be all positive. These guys will say the negative, so you can really get a, a sense of both sides. Um, the problem is all also these in Bloomberg, you're not going to get everybody's research. 
research. Uh, it costs money to get this research. Some stuff will be free. Some stuff will be included with the Bloomberg terminal, uh, but most stuff will not be there. So I haven't checked, but I'd imagine we probably don't get Bernstein's um, email. So we don't get this, guys. And so you can click, let's go back. You can click on each one if you'd like to. Kind of go through it, see if, if they have it. Or you can do another screen, which is BRC. So BRC. Um, and this is going to give you the um, all the research that you can view. So it'll take everything that you could view and kind of scrunch it up into what you can view with your subscription. So I typically like to read some of these, these ones that are bigger. Um, I can't click. I don't think I can click on these just because I can't show you. I'm on a YouTube video, but click on some of these. They're going to give you good research reports. It's going to show you the current themes of the industry. And uh, sometimes it'll project out their, their uh, cash flow statements. It'll project out their financials for you, which is always helpful to get, um, you know, somebody's opinion on this. So it's, uh, it's good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy that. Enjoy kind of reading through the analyst um, analyst reports. That's what I would do typically next. Read through some analyst reports, kind of get an opinion on where I think this stock is going. We're starting to form an opinion. We're starting to really learn about this company. Um, so that's always helpful. Thanks, guys.